Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and quite a few years ago I had an idea for a video that I didn't end up making. The idea was that I'd make fun of Flat Earth by saying that it was just a conspiracy theory to make conspiracy theories look bad. Well, it turns out that there are people that actually believe that. There are people in the world that actually believe that Flat Earth is just something to make conspiracy theorists look bad because, well, we all know how stupid Flat Earth is. It's wild to think that something that I thought would just be a funny joke is something that people actually take seriously. You can even go further down the rabbit hole because most people agree that Flat Earthers are stupid, but when it comes to Flat Earthers, there are Flat Earthers that think that other Flat Earthers are paid chills to try and make Flat Earth look bad. So you've got conspiracy theorists believing that Flat Earthers are paid chills to try and make conspiracy theorists look bad, and then you've got Flat Earthers thinking that other Flat Earthers are paid chills to try and make Flat Earth look bad. This is what conspiracy theories do to your brain, by the way. It turns just everything into a conspiracy theory. Now, I want to start by addressing why people might think that Flat Earth is just too ridiculous to actually be a conspiracy theory. And the reason is because, well, Flat Earth is just simply reality denial. If you believe in the Flat Earth, you are denying reality. You don't really have to do much to realise that the Earth is not flat. You only have to think about it for less than a minute. If the Earth were actually flat, then either time zones would be impossible or the Sun would never set. Flat Earthers like to claim that perspective solves everything, but it doesn't really. Anyone that can think for themselves can realise that Flat Earthers haven't actually solved this issue. They say that they have, but all they have done is repeated a word. Perspective. The same goes for objects disappearing bottom first over the horizon. Most normal people can see that this is evidence for a globe, but Flat Earthers try to dismiss it, again, just by saying perspective. Given the fact that there is so much evidence against the Flat Earth, and Flat Earthers just try to hand wave dismiss it, a lot of people rightly think that it is ridiculous. Now given that Flat Earth is just another conspiracy theory, a lot of Flat Earthers also believe in other conspiracy theories as well. Some of them will be anti-vax, some of them will believe in chemtrails. Once you hit Flat Earth and believe in it, there's no conspiracy theory that is too ridiculous because Flat Earth is just that detached from reality. So because Flat Earth is ridiculous, and Flat Earthers also tend to believe in other conspiracy theories, you can kind of see why some people that believe in conspiracy theories might think Flat Earthers are there to make them look bad. But the first thing that I want to address is the whole Flat Earthers being there to make other Flat Earthers look bad because I think that is one of the more ridiculous claims. I've seen Flat Earthers claim that the Flat Earth Society is just there to make Flat Earth look bad, and that people like Mark Sargent or Rob Skiba were there to make Flat Earthers look bad as well. The reason why a lot of Flat Earthers have issues with the Flat Earth Society is because they claim that the Earth is accelerating up at 9.81 meters per second squared, and that is why we experience gravity. Many Flat Earthers think that this is just a completely preposterous way of explaining gravity because you just need density and buoyancy apparently. Now I think this just comes down to the flavour of denialism. Some Flat Earthers are content with buoyancy and density, but I think that some Flat Earthers go, well, we do actually need a vector and an accelerating Earth provides that vector. Just because there are people in your movement that disagree, that doesn't mean that the people that disagree with you are paid chills. Because, spoiler alert, people can have different opinions. Now when it comes to people thinking that Mark Sargent or Rob Skeeber are paid chills, I think that comes down to them getting media opportunities. I think a lot of Flat Earthers feel as though Flat Earth is something that isn't mainstream, and really, they don't want it to be mainstream either. Because to them, what Flat Earth is, is rebelling against the system. If it's mainstream, then it's not really rebelling against the system. And when Mark Sargent goes on TV shows, to a lot of them, it will feel like he's working with the mainstream media. And the mainstream media are the bad guys. You can't work with them. I also think that there's a bit of jealousy going on there as well because, you know, a lot of people would like to be on TV. Now, I personally don't think that Mark Sargent or Rob Skiba are paid chills, especially given the quality of some of Mark Sargent's videos. Some of Mark Sargent's videos are obviously made with Windows Movie Maker, and if Mark Sargent was a paid chill, you think he would have done something better for his videos. There's also the fact that he has mentioned other Flat Earthers on TV. 
it would be dangerous for him to mention real flat earthers when on TV, just in case someone goes and looks them up. But the biggest thing I think is that undoubtedly people like Mark Sargent have been big pulls for people into Flat Earth. If it weren't for Mark Sargent, then there wouldn't be nearly as many Flat Earthers as there are today. Mark Sargent is part of the reason why Flat Earth got so big. If your goal is to make a movement look silly or look bad, then you don't bring new people into that movement because that's rather counterproductive. But what if the goal isn't to make Flat Earthers look bad? What if the goal is to make conspiracy theorists in general look bad? Well, here's the thing. Conspiracy theorists do do a pretty good job of making themselves look bad. It was only a few short years ago that everybody was laughing at anti-vaxxers because of how ridiculous they were. They still are ridiculous, but they're just more mainstream these days. Because of how ridiculous conspiracy theories tend to be, I don't think that Flat Earth is needed to make them look bad. Especially considering the fact that Flat Earth is dying. You see, if you wanted a conspiracy theory to make all the other conspiracy theories look bad, you'd make sure that the conspiracy theory that makes the other conspiracy theories look bad isn't dying. But the truth of the matter is, is that Flat Earth is dying. People aren't really interested in it anymore. And the thing is, it wouldn't actually be all that difficult to bring Flat Earth back for people to laugh at it, because Every time a documentary is made about it, even if it's a silly documentary like the Logan Paul one, then there is a spike in popularity for Flat Earth again. That hasn't happened in a while, and given how prolific conspiracy theories are these days, you think that if they are trying to make conspiracy theories look bad, now would be a really good time to do that. And honestly, I would love to go back to a time where everybody just laughed at conspiracy theories, so it would be great if Flat Earth were there to just make conspiracy theories look bad. Unfortunately, that is not the case, and we have to deal with the fact that conspiracy theories, despite their ridiculousness, seem to be getting more and more mainstream. So yes, just because Flat Earth is ridiculous, it doesn't mean that it is here to make other conspiracy theories look bad. Conspiracy theories, by their nature, just tend to be ridiculous. The only reason why Flat Earth stands out is because it is very obviously wrong. There's no real ambiguity to it. Whereas with other conspiracy theories, it tends to be that you can't really go ahead and do your own observations to show that they're incorrect. Sometimes you can, but it generally tends to be a lot more difficult. But anyway, that is it for this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked that video. Leave a comment letting me know what kind of things you'd like me to do for future videos. As always, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.